be starting this vlog in the same outfit that I was wearing in yesterday's vlog. And now here's why. I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful piece of metal in my life. My four inch Catalyst downpipe just arrived. I'm super excited. I still do have to wait for Dynantronics to send me back my new performance tuner. The one that I mailed out yesterday, the one that was the wrong one, made it there. So hopefully it'll get sent out today. I'm hoping to have it maybe by tomorrow or shit. I don't even know what today is. I don't know if it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. It is Tuesday, so I'm hoping by Thursday at the absolute latest so we can get everything with my car done. I just want to give you guys a little update too. As you can see by this comment right here, people are still randomly getting unsubscribed from my channel. So please make sure you're still subscribed to my channel and also turn on my post notifications. Go to any video of mine while you're on the mobile YouTube app or whatever and hit the little bell next to the video. That'll make sure you guys have my post notifications on. So when I do post a new video, I post every single day at 1.30 PST, 4.30 EST, uh, as long as my internet is functioning properly, but if for some reason you can't remember that I post at those times All you have to do is turn on my post notifications and every single time I post a new video You guys will be updated as long as fucking YouTube doesn't randomly unsubscribe you from my channel Because I know my videos have not been hitting sub boxes YouTube's been fucking up a lot lately You guys can tell by everyone's channels everyone is complaining about this and YouTube is just failing to acknowledge the fact that something is wrong with their platform I hope they fix it soon. In a lot of my videos, we've kind of been doing some crazy shit recently, and I do not want to check the gummy worm just yet. I'm going to wait till later on tonight when it cools back off again. We're going to give it another check, see if it's ready to be taken out of the piping. But in the meantime, I really kind of want to destroy something. And I have an idea, not too sure how it's going to work out. I haven't seen it done before. But you guys know I'm always trying to do new things and create new content that you guys will enjoy. And I think you guys will actually enjoy this idea that I have planned for today. So I'm really not too sure what happened, but it looks like one of the shot glasses broke in the garbage disposal. And we have to get all the glass out. My hand's way too damn big to fit it in there, so Rachel's getting out the little pieces of glass. You need to be really careful so you don't cut yourself, babe. Or accidentally turn on the garbage disposal. I mean, you can. It would be really good clickbait. Yeah, no. <laughs> She stuck her hand in the garbage disposal, gone wrong. Did you pretty much get it all? It probably doesn't help because didn't you turn it on too and you didn't know it was in there so it kind of just chopped it up a little more? I don't know if I got it all. I gotta turn it on and see. Yeah, turn it on and check. Is that on or off? No. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't think that's on. It doesn't sound like it's spinning. It's definitely not spinning. Babe, hit that garbage disposal switch. Yeah. I got that shit working. I mean, I don't like to boost my ego too much, but I can fix a lot of shit besides my car. Uh, it's a BMW, though. Yeah, because it's a BMW. You got it. Devin just got home from work not too long ago. Yeah, you know, we got to go run some errands. You know what that means? Walmart. Yep. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I have not checked the pipe since yesterday when we started to cut it open. Let's check it right now and see how much of this uh, jello has leaked out. Well... I'm not too sure, but it looks to me like one of the dogs was digging over here for some reason. Really not too sure why. This is uh, what's leaked out of the pipe so far. I'm not too sure how it's going to turn out. I still think I want to wait a little bit longer, maybe one more day before we cut this open. Just so it can get as hard as it possibly can. And then we're going to cut this open and reveal the giant 50 foot gummy worm. Smash that like button if you guys are excited to see how this turns out. Dev, I got one thing and one thing only to say to you. Hmm. If this car runs out of gas, I ain't fucking pushing again. Me neither. I seen a lot of you guys were kind of roasting Devin for that. It, it happens, you know. It hasn't happened to me before, but it does happen. I know okay, quite a few people who have ran out of gas before. Devin just clearly was maybe thinking with the wrong hat at the time. Uh, even though that really doesn't pertain to the situation, but we are headed off to Walmart and we're gonna be going to Walmart to get a ton of silly string Not gonna tell you guys exactly what we're gonna do with it yet, but I kind of had a good idea It might involve me buying a new appliance for my house, but you guys are just gonna have to wait and see So I don't know if you guys can really see back there But there's a cop clocking people and this guy over here has already got someone pulled over damn 
This is where they post up now. This is where they got me and Lance. All right, so I guess I'm gonna explain to you guys what I'm actually doing before we do it. Now, I wasn't planning on getting a microwave, but I am anyways because we're gonna fucking microwave silly string. Not just silly string, silly string in the cans. So it's probably gonna explode. Probably gonna end up ruining my microwave. So figured might as well buy one now and get it out of the way. Now we need to get some silly string and pick up other few things while we're here and then we're gonna head back and do this video. Yo Dev, are you ready to fuck some shit up now or do you wanna wait a little bit? Do you wanna do it after dinner? Yeah. Babe, should we fuck shit up after dinner or before dinner? After. All right. No, we're Probably not. Why? It's only like 5 o'clock. Now nah, we'll fuck it up after. While Rachel's cooking dinner, I've actually been on this River Monster shit. I watched it until almost 5 o'clock in the morning last night. So I'm pretty excited to watch this on Hulu right now. Rachel just got done cooking us a nice feast of chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, and mac and cheese. How's this chicken? Mmm. Like, butter and put garlic in Very there. good. Very good. After two episodes of River Monsters and a good ass dinner, I'm ready to blow some shit up in my microwave, and I hope you guys are ready too. I'm gonna get everything set up and prepared right now. Devin and I are gonna head outside, and we're gonna blow some shit up. Alrighty guys, so as you can see right here, we have our new microwave that we just recently purchased for the sole purpose of this video. I'm gonna show you guys that it works in everything proper the way that it's supposed to be. As you guys can see, it's functioning. And now, we're gonna throw some silly string in this bitch and we're gonna blow some shit up. Now before we do this, what I need you guys to do right now is smash that like button. Let's see if we can hit 15,000 likes on this video. I'll be right back with some silly string. We have about seven different colors of silly string. We got, you know, the neon colors, we got the regular colors, and I'm not too sure how many times we're gonna be able to do this. So I think to start off, we're gonna do two colors at once uh, to see what happens. Let's go with the neon pink. We're, we're going with this uh, cap on and everything. And then I think the, the neon purple would be pretty cool. So we're gonna put those in there. Get rid of these silly strings. I almost call them spray paint a couple times, I think. And uh, we're gonna put these in here for, I don't know, let's, let's try like three minutes and see what happens. Well, here goes nothing. All right, that's a little better. Oh shit, it's already making noise. Uh, I'm gonna step back, so I'm not too sure what's gonna happen here, and I don't wanna get hurt, so uh, let's see what happens. I just focused it a little bit better for you guys. You guys hear that little sizzle? So I really don't think anything too interesting happened so far. Got back this camera up a little bit. Oh, it's definitely kind of warm. I think we're gonna try sticking with one can of the silly string, and we're gonna do this over, and we're gonna put this in here for five minutes and see what happens. All right, let's see what happens with this. Five minutes, purple can of silly string in the microwave. I do apologize if I have called this spray paint because I just keep wanting to call it that. But, let's see what happens. It's a little hot, but the plastic's not even melted. Oh yeah, it fucking stinks like it's melted though. Let's put this back in here. That's hot. For another five minutes. Literally 
Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Dude, four seconds left on the microwave. Holy shit! This is fucking unreal. You guys, look at this. It fucking blew a fucking big ass dent in the top of the microwave. It smells really bad. Oh shit. Raise the roof. It, fu it fucking raised the fucking roof of the microwave. Dude, that is crazy. I wonder if the microwave even still works. Let's see. Uh, I do not want to touch this fucking can. Even though I fucking do it anyways. Put that shit in there. Do this. Oh uh, yeah, this this microwave is fucked. That's it. Looks like we uh we can't microwave any more shit because our microwave is destroyed. So pretty much the moral of this story is do not microwave silly string. And now I'm kind of wondering if like this silly string like this is flammable. It smells really bad. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> that smells really bad. I don't think it's flammable. Guess I just have to do it manual from now on. I hope you guys enjoyed us blowing up that silly string in the microwave. I do apologize for the autofocus. I just finally realized why it was doing that. One of my settings was messed up on my camera. From now on, I should never have an issue when I'm using the ADD. I really just wanted to use the ADD for this because the quality is amazing. As you guys can tell, after it exploded, the quality cleared up a lot because the autofocus finally kicked in. I don't know why I was having so many issues. Well, actually I do because one of the settings was messed up. But I got that taken care of. Once again, I hope you guys did enjoy that. I'm going to watch a few more episodes of River Monsters. Maybe play a little Call of Duty or Need for Speed. And just hang out and relax for the rest of the night. You guys can still see this like bite. Yeah, you could see uh, I also just been eating some Flaming Hot Cheetos, but this bite that's on my face has not gone away yet. It still kind of hurts. I've tried popping it. Nothing happens. It like just, it turns black and blue when I try popping it. Anyways, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this vlog. Shout out of the day is going to go out to Amy on Twitter. She's honestly always retweeting all of my tweets. She DM'd me a few days ago. She needed some advice and I gave her some advice. She seems like a really sweet girl, so I'm giving her shout out of the day. If you guys would like to be shout out of the Day, make sure to follow me on all my social media accounts the links are always in the description below and be active like my tweets retweet my tweets like my Instagram posts etc that can always better your chances at being shot out of the day once again I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys tomorrow